So you're thinking about moving to Fairfax Station, Virginia, but you'd kind of like to know a little bit more about what the area has to offer before you decide to make that big move? Well, in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to be covering. I'm actually gonna jump into my computer so that I can take you around on Google Maps, show you where Fairfax Station is in proximity to Washington, D.C., Arlington, Tyson's Corner, and the airport. If you're interested in what Fairfax Station has to offer in terms of shopping, dining, and entertainment, we're also gonna cover that too. Be sure to stick around, because we're gonna get after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, living, and playing in Northern Virginia, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell for notifications so that you'll never miss a video. My name's Amanda and the team and I get calls every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Northern Virginia and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, send us a DM on social, whatever works for you, we've got your back when you're making that move to Northern Virginia. Okay, so here we are in Google Maps. We've got Fairfax Station right here. Before I jump into proximity to DC airports, etc., let's take a look at sort of boundaries because Fairfax Station is a little bit more rural than some of the other areas in Northern Virginia. That's a big draw to the area is that there's more privacy. It is a quiet pace of life there, but you're still nearby daily needs and commuter routes, et cetera. So up here to the Northeast, this is the Springfield area. You've got the Kings Park West neighborhood. And then over here to the West, you have the Manassas area in this section. And then let me go to the south just a little bit because this is all Fairfax Station as well. But if we go down a little bit more, we're actually going to see the Woodbridge and Lorton area. So Laurel Hill Golf Club, that's in Lorton. And then if we come to the south a little bit more, we head into the Lake Ridge area. Okay. So let's get more into Fairfax Station from a commuting standpoint first. And let me swap these. We are going to do DC first in case you're working in the city. Important to know how long your commute is. And on average, you're gonna be looking at about 45 minutes on a good day. If you're driving into the city and traffic is heavy, you could certainly be facing um, over an hour to get into the city from Fairfax Station. Let's jump over here and head to Reagan Airport in case you are flying quite a bit. Fairfax Station is about 35, 40 minutes to Reagan Airport. And we'll also check on Dallas in case you're taking more international flights. It is about 25 minutes. I would say probably closer to 30, 35 when you factor in stoplights, traffic, that type of thing. Um, Dallas is the closer option, but depending on your travel needs, you may want to use Reagan as well. Let's also head over to Arlington and the general Pentagon area in case you are commuting into the Pentagon. You're looking at 35 minutes right now. I would say on average is probably closer to 45, 50 minutes to get into the Arlington area. We can check out the Pentagon as well while we're here just to see about 30 minutes, probably closer to 40, 45 on average. And then we can't forget Tyson's Corner, another big employment hub in the area. Fairfax Station to Tyson's Corner, about a half hour. It's about 15 to 17 miles, depending on where you're headed in Tyson's Corner. So in general, as you can see, um, commuting wise, Fairfax Station is a little bit further out. But the trade-off for that is you will find a lot of homes with acreage in Fairfax Station. So if you're looking for a more private setup, uh, Fairfax Station does not have nearly as many subdivisions as you will find in, say, 
Springfield, Wharton, and definitely not as many as Arlington and Alexandria. It is definitely full on suburb, borderline rural, depending on what type of property that you're looking for in Fairfax Station. Let's also check out Fairfax Station Square. This is one of the shopping centers in Fairfax Station. Uh, Fairfax Station does not have a ton of shopping centers, but they are all nearby and I'll jump into that in a second. Fairfax Station Square, depending on where you live in Fairfax Station, if you're in the Cross Point neighborhood, depending on where you live in Cross Point, it could literally be right across the street from your house. But if you are in the area of Fairfax Station that is more off of say Henderson Road and the 123 area, then you may have, I would say, anywhere from a 10 max 15 minute drive to get to Fairfax Station Square. The shopping center has a wonderful steak and cheese location, Georgia's steak and things. Let me see if I can zoom in here. There it is. Let me get my marker out for us. If you're looking for a good steak and cheese in the Northern Virginia area, Georgia's steak and things, they have got you covered great family owned business worth checking out. There is the Gold's Gym that's in Fairfax Station as well. And there is a really good Mexican place, Las Holtecas. Let me see if I can get that to show up as well. Nope, it's not gonna show up for us. That's all right. There is a delicious uh, Mexican restaurant in the shopping center as well. As you can see, you also have Chloe's Cafe. Um, if you're looking for a good cup of coffee, that's a good place to check out. Hey King Chef for Chinese, you've got your Native Federal Credit Union, Salon, Barber, Advance Auto Parts, UPS. It's a small shopping center, but certainly enough to grab a bite to eat or take care of some of your daily needs. But it does not have a grocery store. So where should you go for grocery shopping if you are going to be living in the Fairfax Station area? Burke is going to be your closest option, and I am going to highlight Safeway in Burke because that is one of the most popular grocery stores and you're looking at about three to four miles depending on where you're living in Fairfax Station. This Safeway in Burke is located in a shopping center as well. You've got plenty of other options there. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. We cover this um, more thoroughly in our Burke map tour. If you want to check that out and see what else is in here, you have plenty of options for dining and shopping in Burke. Again, only about 10 minutes from Fairfax Station. There's also a Walmart in Burke. If you don't want to hit Safeway, you could do, you know, grocery shopping and other types of shopping at Walmart. Glory Days Grill is in the Safeway Shopping Center in Burke great chicken wings, or if you want to go catch a game, that's a good spot to go. And then you've got your ABC store if you need to pick something up for a beverage and CVS if you need to grab a prescription or anything like that. Fairfax Station, most important thing to keep in mind, if you're looking for an area that's a little bit quieter and somewhat off the beaten path, but still within 10 or 15 minutes of shopping, dining, entertainment, that's definitely worth checking out if that's something that interests you, but you aren't going to find, you know, shopping malls or strip malls or anything like that in Fairfax Station. Really the only little shopping center is uh, Fairfax Station Square that we checked out just a little bit ago. Another wonderful thing about Fairfax Station is the parks and we highlight Fountainhead Regional Park in the vlog. Be sure to check that out if you want to get a little bit better idea. That park is over 2,000 acres. It's massive. You can rent kayaks there. You can also rent boats there. It's got a boat ramp if you want to bring your own boat. There are hiking trails, mountain bike trails, equestrian trails. Wonderful park in the area. And we also want to check out Burke Lake Park, which I know you might be thinking, Burke Lake Park. Isn't that in Burke? Yes, part of it is, but technically the address is Fairfax Station. We also highlight Burke Lake Park in our Burke blog. So you could take a look at that if you want to see the actual park in person versus just on the map. Very, very popular park in the area. 
great if you have little ones, they have a carousel, they have a little train, ice cream shop. And if you enjoy golf, there's also a driving range and Berkeley Golf Course is right next door. So very close um, to Fairfax Station in terms of really wherever you live in the area. And technically a Fairfax Station address, even though it's called Berkeley Park, part of it resides in Burke and the entry is technically Fairfax Station. Last up for Fairfax Station, if you are going to be traveling into the city and you are not interested in driving, you do have access to VRE about 12 to 15 minutes right in Burke. Definitely not too far if you want to take the train in. And I also want to highlight Springfield Metro because you can also take Metro. Um, you can certainly park at the Metro station in Springfield and take that in. You would be looking at about 25 minutes to drive to the actual Metro station and then from there travel in. The Springfield Metro station also has access to Amtrak if that's something you're interested in as well. You have plenty of options when commuting from Fairfax Station. You're certainly not limited to driving, but you will have to drive somewhere in order to then take the different means of transportation into the city. That about wraps it up for Fairfax Station. Again, a great area if you are looking for a little bit more elbow room, not as many subdivisions by any means, and there are a lot of homes that are on acreage in Fairfax Station. It is home to 12,364 people. The median home value in Fairfax Station is $1,153,019. And the median home income in Fairfax Station is $179,651. As always, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, send us a DM, whatever works for you. We've got your back when you're moving to Northern Virginia. Until next time, we hope to show you around town.